Spit on us for saying it. Blame our age or our youth. Disregard us at your own risk. We are coming at you with the truth. Each day you're not improving, not chasing change. Our iron fists will galvanise and bring down power's reign. Each day I look and there is more ignored evidence. Each day, each choice, each conversation seems negative. He's smart. He's not. Well, well that's, that's irrelevant. irrelevant. Because that's not how you're judged in modern day intelligence. How you look, where you come from. Now that's relevant. But how we move from the past, now that's resonant. It's assumed with time you come forward and fairness should become more present than find, find new ways, new paths and deliver them. them. Instead, we're trapped in carelessness, trapped in negligence. To those who hold privilege, they're the ones living it. Not stereotyped and racially profiled through systematic embedded ways of thinking. Being oppressed, put down, equal rights are sinking. In different ways, on different days. Safety is a privilege. Except if you're white, you don't fear for your life, whether you'll make it back home to your kids or your wife. George Floyd. Breonna Taylor. Eric Garner are three, but there are many more. Unspoken, unheard, unseen. Trevor Martin. Sean Rigg. Michael Lorenzo Dean. To Ryan Twyman, shot 34 times. 34 choices and he took another life. A father of three, how many more innocent lives will be taken like these? We're listening to contradiction, hypocrisy, mass manipulation dealt by the highest authority. All hidden behind news feeds on our TVs, on obscure stories which have been pushed, manipulated and teased. They've blown up just to cover up the facts. Why is it every time we take a step forward, we take two steps back? It's like a trap. Inequality is embedded in our society. Constantly. She didn't. He didn't ask for it. What about that? You're constantly telling us to trust and achieve, but how can I be and win when my neighbour lost because of the colour of her skin? How can he persevere and be proud of his success when she does better, the best, and receives less? You tell me I should trust, have faith in those above, those in control. That's why they have their role. It's a cover-up. A facade, a paradox. That same Prime Minister compares gay men to prostitutes and a Muslim woman to a letterbox. And the one in charge of the largest economy in the world tweets and speaks with tongue in cheek and covers his eyes to the man gasping, I can't breathe. No, it's fine. That officer can just take leave. Is that a joke? A hoax? She screams for her life and tries to fight back for her children. He, he heard, heard her. her. But will still let men walk free when they partake in her murder. Up in their castles, stagnant and smug, calling victims of violence, liars and thugs. As long as they're white and rich and male and hold power and control and sell in their souls. They will live on. He killed nine. He was peacefully arrested. He allegedly sold some cigarettes and that police officer had his knee position perfected. A system so overcome with corruption, the leaders are too proud to cause some rupture. If you won't speak out and eradicate the dominant hate, I will hand criminals a clean slate because of their privilege, their power and their race. There is no way you can expect any person with a moral face to sit back and watch as our earth crumbles in pain. So we will change it. To tell the truth, if our leaders look to everyone in the face to make a decision and have an opportunity granted, if you're transgender, working class, Jewish, Muslim, an activist, an immigrant, a rape victim, disabled, gay, a woman or black, you're at a disadvantage. No one will stop speaking and releasing a voice for the minorities. Two faces, ten faces, seven billion faces. One glance and you're put in a certain placement. In other words, unless you're white, male, straight and rich, you're put to the bottom of the list. Beating and bashing, ignoring, deploring. Blocking and distracting from acts of attacking. Laughing and joking whilst killing and choking. Ranting on nothing, protected and lucky. Partaking in mass manipulation. Constant vexation and discrimination. Consultation and confirmation. Degradation. Expectation. Hesitation on conclusive information. Isolation and incarceration. There has to be a realisation. There has to be a realisation and transformation for equal civilization. And that's a recommendation, sir. And until then, there will be relentless rebellion.